Hello darlings and welcome back here to my channel and as I have stated in one of my previous videos I am going on a holiday very very soon and today is my day off so I'm packing all my essentials at the moment and actually as I started packing I realized that maybe it's going to be an interesting video to show you my hacks of how I pack light whenever I am traveling because you can't take your full bottle of shampoo you can't take your full perfume with you as well and I'm gonna show you the ways that I save space and weight and everything else so without further ado I'm gonna start this video I'm gonna show you the hacks of how you can travel light and still carry with you all your essentials almost every time that I fly somewhere I am with a small luggage on it and there's no space for extra things and I don't even mean clothes I mean shampoos and everything else and for example that's the shampoo that I use at home and it's a pretty big thing and definitely I can't go through security with this one so what I pack with me instead is a shampoo bar this one specifically is from L'Occitane because I just love the brand and I have tried it before I even made a video before about it and I just like how my hair is afterwards after I wash it so it's definitely my go-to when I'm traveling first of all it is a shampoo bar so it's basically like a soap but you can wash your hair with it so it's very very practical it smells it smells really nice and when you put it together with your clothes in the luggage it makes everything smell nice when you open it so that's just a plus to carrying a shampoo bar in your luggage and also it doesn't take any liquidy space so you can fill it in with something else that's essential for you like makeup for example what i have found out is that i don't like using it on everyday basis however when it comes to holiday it's my savior and it's my go-to because i just love it so much i have tried all three kinds of this one and i can easily recommend it to you as well because i i don't know it's my go-to and I won't travel anywhere without a L'Occitane shampoo bar, to be honest. And since we started talking about hair, I have mentioned this one quite a lot of times because I have been using it religiously for years. And it's my Extraordinary Oil from L'Oreal, which I love to bits. And that's why I have to take it with me on a holiday, always. The normal packaging is actually 100 milliliters. However, it is pretty heavy and I would like to take maybe a little top instead of this one. So that's why I have bought myself a travel sized option for this one, which is only 50 milliliters it's a plastic bottle which I'm not really a fan of but it does the work to be honest and I bought it a few years ago and since then I've just been refilling it so it's pretty pretty easy to do so because you just open it up and you can pour like the actual oil into here so you don't have to buy new bottle every single time I know that there's some reusable bottles they're still plastic but maybe if I find a better option I'm gonna link it down in the description but basically you can fill them in with any liquids that you wish that can be even a uh, sunscreen that you can take with you or whatever it is that you can think of but buying travel size things is always a good option and keeping the packaging is also smart because you can definitely reuse it like I said I bought this one a few years ago and I'm still filling it up every time that I need to travel somewhere because I can do without conditioner but I can't do without my hair oil now let's talk about perfumes like that's Carolina Herrera and do you think I'm going to have space for this chunky shoe to put anywhere and that's gonna have to fit in like the little bag that he has to go through security and that's just not happening that's why I actually bought myself this little spray it's atomizer and it works perfectly fine and apart from that it's extremely extremely cute it looks so so luxurious I think it's leather really and it did cost about 20 25 pounds however i believe it's worth it because i bought this atomizer about a few years back to be honest and i used it on a few holidays however now it's broken for some reason so instead of spraying like actual spraying it goes with it's like a water pistol it's just like sprays at you it's not making it like nicely as a perfume should it just sprays at you it's like the perfume is hitting you so i really really don't like this one anymore and instead i decided to go 
with the one that has been recommended everywhere it has very cute packaging and compared to some other brands it's really not that expensive because I have seen some that are 100 pounds over 100 pounds and I'm not really sure if it's worth it to spend that much when you have something as pretty as this one which works perfectly fine and if you don't know what a perfume atomizer is basically it's a travel sized perfume bottle which you can refill you just have to take it out of the packaging that's basically the packaging so you have to take the lid off of the perfume and you basically put this one and you press I think you can see the little liquid inside, that's the perfume and if you're going away for two weeks I think it's perfect I have used it for about a month as well and it lasts me just enough so it's definitely a good option when you're traveling somewhere and you don't want to carry your whole perfume apart from that you can also take it on little walks it's always with me in my bag to be honest and whenever I am out for hours and hours I just spray myself a little bit because it's handy to have it instead of the whole perfume in my bag this one is definitely a good solution for every day not only for a holiday Something else that I recently got is a new towel. This one is from H&M because they actually make good quality towels without them being too expensive. So that's definitely a plus. I got this beautiful one, which to be honest, wouldn't take that much space. When you fold it, that's how big it is. I don't know, it's just very functional. I wanted something that wouldn't take that much space, that is cute and not too expensive. So of course, H&M was the answer. And this one, it's a pretty big towel, it has a very very cute print, I really like the stripes with its blue and white and I don't know, it's just very cute, it's 100% cotton, I think it was. You can see on the inside it has like the cottony feeling, so it is a really really nice towel that I can't wait to use and I think it's not going to take that much space, so that's definitely a plus. However, if you want to pack even lighter, there are options in H&M which were, again, cotton towels, but so that's they... That's the one that I was talking about and you can see how small and tiny it actually is. And it's in two colors, the black and white and the beige and white one. It's not gonna take much space at all. So I think they are perfect if you're looking to save up some space in your luggage for something else and they are still cute. I however decided to go with this one because it's blue and white stripes. If they had the other one in the same uh, print I probably would have gotten the other one to be honest. And the other one was about 8 or 9 pounds. I think I got this one for 12. Let me see. 13 pounds is this one, so I definitely think it's a good price, especially when H&M does quite a lot of vouchers, so I use my voucher as well, and I got it for 10 pounds, so definitely a good deal, and it's not gonna take as much space as my previous one, because the ones that I have been carrying with me previously were huge. Another essential for me is definitely a moisturizer, and this Clinique one is my favorite, however, this tube is about... 200 milliliters and I cannot take it with me because they are going to confiscate it and I'm going to cry. That's why whenever I'm going on a holiday I have a travel sized moisturizer and this one is the one that I have picked now. It's by Eucerin and I haven't... well I have used it once before and I really really like it. However, I have saved it for a holiday because it does have SPF 30 in it already and it's good when I'm not going to the beach, let's say. I'll still have an SPF over my face and yeah, it's definitely easier to carry a small version even if you have used one of your small travel sized moisturizers, just take some of your big moisturizer and fill in the small one. It's definitely a good idea. I always have a smaller version of a moisturizer with me. And the last thing that I wanted to share with you is deodorant. Of course, you can buy one at the airport, let's say, and throw it away before you come back on the flight because it's going to be too big to carry it with you. However, what I like doing is taking one of those stick deodorants. So this one is from Wild. I actually got three samples from them and I am still going through them because it takes quite a while to go through all of them. But that's definitely my hack before Wild. I was using Nivea, this one's from Nivea, I like both of them to be honest and they both smell really really nice however with Wild you can choose 
a lot more options when it comes to smell like coconutty i really like the coconutty one this one is jasmine and mandarin blossom so it does smell very very nicely and whenever i'm going on a holiday i am well last time i took only this one with me so that's basically what it looks like it works wonders because you don't have to carry a big book deodorant with you instead you have this stick which is 100% natural and the packaging is also natural if you're getting the samples and I know that they offer a steel case which you can reuse and just order the actual infill from, from the store so it's definitely a good option and I'm considering subscribing to their website as well because they sell you refills as often as you wish I think if I were to choose I would do it like every three months or something I have to double check their subscription again I just like avoiding taking with me any types of liquids because it's a hassle to go through security I don't want to be careful carrying that much with me and if I can put something else in my luggage apart from like big chunky perfumes, shampoo bottles and hair oils I would definitely do that because that means that I'm gonna have space for some more dear family clothes which I'm going to order on my holidays so yeah that's why I need more space so darlings I hope you've enjoyed this video I just wanted to show you the hacks and tricks that I'm doing every time I am going somewhere because usually I am going away for about a month in Bulgaria let's say so I have only one small luggage with me and I have to be very cautious of what I'm taking with me and these hacks have saved me quite a lot of space so that's why I'm sharing them with you as well so darlings thank you so much for watching sending you lots of hugs and kisses and I'll see you after my holiday Bye! Thank you.